Hey, what is up guys? Happy Sunday. Hopefully you guys are having an amazing Sunday afternoon. This is Marquita from At Home with Kita. Thank you so much for joining me on another video. I really appreciate you stopping back by my channel today to catch another video. So today's video, we're actually going to be doing a showcase of my pin collection and how I store them all, as well as how I store my stamps. So this is gonna be a super quick video. Just wanted to stop in real quick on this Sunday afternoon, just to show you a little bit about how I store my pin collection, as well as my stamps. And that's about all we're gonna be covering today on this video. So we'll talk you through that process. So if you're interested in that then make sure to stick around if you're new here on my channel i do really hope that you will consider subscribing and also liking this video so without further ado if you want to see how i store my pens and my stamps then stick around All right, so we are gonna talk about pins first. This is the main case where I store my pin collection. I just recently purchased it because I felt like I was outgrowing my Happy Planner pin cases, which I do have two of those as well, which we'll get into later. But this is the main pin case that I have. It stores 164 pins. Isn't that crazy? So if you look here on the side, you see all the zipper spots all the zipper openings and it's got this little handle here which is super cute and it helps you to kind of just hold on to your pins a little bit better if you're like me and you take them everywhere when you're planning so it's got uh, four zipper spots here and so this is a massive pin case they did have this available in this color teal which y'all know how I feel about teal as well as pink so I decided on this color and eventually I may pick up another one just to have it just in case I um, outgrow this one and I need another one in addition to that because I'm a little bit of a pin Order. I recently have just started collecting pens. I'm not really sure why. I like to use different types of pens in my planner. And so having this on hand really helps that. And so I'm gonna go ahead and open it up for you and show you all of the pens that I have in here, how I have it organized, and um, just talk you through like some of my faves and just really kind of show off this new pouch I have. And then I'll show you my happy planner pouch, which is over here off to the side. Um, and then I do use a happy planner pouch for my stamp collection as well, because we're gonna cover that in this video also. So let's go ahead and open up this baby and see what we've got inside. All right, so I'm gonna start from back and work my way to the front because the front is where I house the pins that I use most often and the back is just like kind of like overflow and just pins that I don't use as often as the front ones. So let's go ahead and open up the first zipper here. All right, so as you can see, it's got two sides and every zipper part. So that's how it's able to hold as many pins as it does. And so on the back here, I've got my SEPA pins, which I did used to use these all the time. I don't use them as much now, um, but they're very slender. So they fit in these uh, elastic loops really easily. And then I've got my Tombow pins. I used to be obsessed with turning them one direction so that you can see, but I'm not obsessed with that anymore. That That's just crazy to keep having to do that over and over again. So I don't do that. I just let them be because I'm constantly pulling them out and putting them back in. So that will be a little bit OCD of me to do that and just a little bit crazy. So I've got my Tombow dual tip markers here, which I just started to get into hand lettering. So I probably will eventually move these more towards the front as I start to really grow in my hand lettering and um, really uh, start to get better at it. Right now, I'm, I feel like I'm horrible. So I don't use them as much as I should. I just use the Tombow Black, uh, which I'll show you, which is more towards the front. Next uh, side here, I've got my Frickson pins. I love Frickson pin. I probably have them all, um, unless they've come out with something new, but these are the thicker tip pins. So as you can see, I don't wanna pull it fully out, but as you can see that tip here, are thicker here. These are the Frickson colors. I love these because um, they erase very easily and they're still markers. So they give you that pencil feel except um, they're markers, of course. So I love these. I really use these a lot in the past. I don't use them as much now. Um, I was obsessed with the Frickson Ball Slim Pins. These are super awesome. And I felt like they really fit inside of the smaller pin loops and they're just easier to kind of travel with because they're so slim. So I love these as well. These are also Frickson pins. Um, so these are the Frickson colors and these are the Frickson ball pins. So as you can see, I was able to fit some with three inside of one loop, which is crazy. Um, so it all worked out because I have so many pins that I wanted to really kind of get them all uh, sectioned together and I don't want to have to put any in a different section uh, apart from where they actually belonged. So these are some of my Frickson pins. Uh, again, SEPA pins, Tombow, 
And so let's go ahead and close this up and I'll open up the next section. And I've got this thing filled to capacity and as you can see, it's still, it doesn't really um, change the shape of it too much. So that's really cool um, that it holds that many pins, but yet it doesn't feel so bulky. So let's open up that next spot here. All right, so in these two sections, I've got more of my Frixon pins. These are called, um, I guess just Pilot Frixon. It doesn't have a specific name like the other ones did. These are also Pilot Frixon pins as well. And you can tell that because they've got this little uh, rubbery sort of eraser part at the top and that's what you use to make the friction motion to be able to erase um, different things that you write so these were the first friction pens I ever got and then I started diving into the other ones and I just I'm obsessed with friction pens and so that's why I have two different sections for them because I just love them that much and I'm not gonna do any pen tests in this video because I do have a video on my channel where I actually go through most of these pens and do a pen test and I talk you through like my favorites and all that so I'm not gonna do that on this video I'm just going to show you how I store them and talk you through what all I've gotten here and maybe a little bit of my favorites and such. So on this next side here, I have these Sharpie pins. I don't use these as much as I thought I would, but I love how they have all the different colors and I try to color coordinate them. So when I'm reaching for something, everything's sectioned off. I think this is two packs of them because some of them have the same color, but I love these. I just, again, don't use them as much as I should. And I'm hoping sometime in the future to pull some of these pins back out and really kind of start using using them again because um, I don't. I just really only stick with two or three pins, which I'll talk to you about those pins later. So that's what I've got in this section. So let's zipper that back up and it's really easy to zipper up and it feels really good. Uh, this is probably, I don't know if this is leather, but it feels really good to the touch and the zippers don't get stuck and they just really, it's really pretty seamless. Okay, so in this section here, I have a little bit more space to add another uh, section of pins here, but I haven't purchased anything yet that I want to put here I do have some other pins which I'm going to show you in here But I don't think any of those are going to fit in this section So we'll see what I decide to add here, but I think this is my only section that's empty um, over here I have the paper mate flare pins and I started using these a little bit But I haven't quite given them the chance that I feel like they deserve so hopefully in the future I can pull these back out. I'm really obsessed with gel pins right now And so um, I'm hoping to give these a real chance in the future I know some people swear by them as as well as these these are also the paper mate flare pins um, this is the fine tip and this uh, tip is just a little bit different from this tip so if we pull out them both so I can show you the difference so if you see one has a really fine tip and one's tip is not as fine probably looks better on that white background and so um, hopefully I can start using these a lot more in the future but for now I don't really use either of these they just kind of are here to look pretty until I decide that I want to switch it up and I used to use these a lot also when I was color coding and since I don't really color code right now um, I really just stick with a black pen but I think I'm gonna start color coding more in the future so stay tuned for videos on that um, so that is it for that side and then this is my main side with most of the pens that I use right now so the two favorite pens that I just Keep in my planner as you know i am using the big happy planner and i have two pins in that planner two pin loops i shuffle between the inner gel pin as well as the paper mate ink joy gel pin so it's either going to be one of the two of these and it's also going to be a tombow pin so I keep that in there because that is what I do my hand lettering with. And that's why I was saying earlier, those other Tombow pens, I don't really use that much because I just stick with black for now until I get more comfortable with hand lettering. And then I'll start using um, the colorful ones as well. So those are my main two that I keep in my planner. So in this side, I've got my Inkjoy Gel Paper Mate pens, which are my favorite. That's why they're here. I love these pens. That's why I've got the majority black because I keep them stocked up between the 0.7 size and the 0.5 size. So I shuffle between the two of these depending on how fine I want the line to write. But I love these pens. They're my absolute favorite. So I keep them here in the first section because this is my go-to section. And then these are random other pens that I like to use. I do also like the Pilot G2. Um, I just recently started using those. So I, I really do like those. But I'm going back to the um, Inner Gel or the Paper Mate Ink Joy right now because I just I love gel pens. And I don't think this is a gel pen. It just writes differently. 
but I do like it. I do also have some of those Pilot Fricks on Ball Slims here because as I said, I do love these, but I tend to just stick with black. I don't really color coordinate right now. And then I've got a, two blue Tombow pens and then I have this black one and then the other one is in my planner. And then this is a pen that I just recently purchased from Tombow. It has a fine tip here. Hopefully you can see that on one side and then on that side it's got um, the same tip looks like to me but I'm sure there's some difference in the tips here maybe there's a color difference or something but I just picked this up and so I'll be testing this out soon to see what the difference is between the two sides there and so that is what I have in my first pocket here, which again is my go-to pocket. And then I've also got two of the Pilot Frixon ball point pins, which are the retractable ones, which you saw back there in the Frixon section as well. So I've got these and these in here. And then again, my um, Inkjoy gel pins and then the um, inner gel pin. And that's about all I have here. So this is where I go to first. And so that is this main pin pouch or pin storage I love this it's um, the perfect size and it just gives me enough space since again it does hold 164 pins which is insane so I will put a link below to where I purchased this of course Amazon is my baby so I'm always picking things up from Amazon so that is of course where I got this from and again just to give you a quick 360 um, it's awesome it's awesome so if you are a pin hoarder like me, you will love this storage container. So I'm gonna put that to the side. I'm gonna show you the balance of the pins that I have here, which I store in my Happy Planner pin pouch. This thing is fantastic. I love the handle here for easy um, traveling. And so this is amazing. So I've got one in the blue color here, and then I've got one in this black and pink color. So I'm gonna show you this later. This is where I store my stamps. And so um, let's open this up so I can show you just the remainder of what I've got in here. It's miscellaneous stuff as well as some additional pins so I'm gonna move that over because that's the miscellaneous stuff I've got these two happy planner pouches which I used to keep um, some of the pins in there and then I would throw them in here um, so other than that I've got some some expo markers which I use a lot for Addison's learning and then I've got some additional Inkjoy gel pens which didn't fit in the other pouch and so I keep them in here because I keep these on hand because I use them so often then we've got some more paper mate flare which didn't fit in there so I had to include them in here because I've already got these colors in there as well and then we've got some replacements for the um, Parku erasable pens Parku also has their own brand of erasable pens and Frixon also has these replaceable things as well which I do have a lot of those as well and I'm not sure I think I probably which I store in here so these are extras to replace the Frixon ink and then these are extra to replace the Parku ink which is the same type of pen concept and then I've also got this pen which I think is a happy planner pen I think it came in one of the kits and then we've got some sharpie pens I mean then we've got a big pen there just a random big pen a random sharpie pen um, again these expo pens and then I've got a multi pen I used to be really obsessed with multi pens, so I love this pen. I just don't use it as much as I used to use it. So I keep that in here, and then we've got a stylus for my iPad. So that's what I keep inside of this extra storage case here. So this is just random extra pens. And then lastly, I have one more happy pouch filled with pens. And so this is more random pens. As you can see, I really do hoard pens. And so I'm probably going to pull these and put them inside of the blue storage pouch here um, and just really, really organize it a little bit better. But I've got just random pins here, Sharpie pins, Frixon uh, replacement inks. Um, that's what these are here as well. I've got some Expo markers in here, which are the wet erase markers. I love these. Um, I used to uh, use Erin Conjuring Planner and I would use these to draw on her little tabs, um, which are laminated. And I've got Sharpie pens in here. I've got a lot of random pens in here, which is crazy. I've got a gel pen in there. So I'm gonna organize this eventually a little bit better than it's organized, but for now, I just keep it in this happy planner pouch here which clips onto your planner via this elastic band and it just works out perfectly for now to be in here because I don't really use these that much but eventually like I said I do want to organize this pouch and put it in here but this is my main pouch so this is my go-to pouch anyways I don't really use these too much but I would like to have them organized so that is my pin collection so let me go ahead and show you my stamps now I am a newbie stamper so don't judge me <laughs> I don't know all there is to know about stamps yet. 
I'm just kind of getting into the stamping world, but I thought I would show you how I store my stamps for now because I am getting um, a little obsessed with buying stamp supplies and I'm really, really trying to dive into this thing because I love it. I would love to do card making. That is something I would like to know if you guys want to see. Do you guys want to see card making videos on my YouTube channel? I'm obsessed with like lawn fawn and, and all these ladies that do stamp making with their cards and it's just fabulous to me and it's just a whole different world that I would love to explore. So if you guys think I should do a little more card making stamping type videos on my channel if you would like to see that put a comment below I need to hear from you because I really would like to incorporate that on my channel so let's go ahead and open this up and I'll show you kind of how I have everything stored okay so on the left hand side here I have all of my stamping blocks as you can see here this all came in a set it came with a long stamping block I hope you can see that on camera and then it came with a smaller square block and then an even smaller square block and an even smaller square block. Just different sizes for you to use and I find that I use all of those sizes. And what I store them in is this little pouch here which is getting quite crumply, but I have a whole bag full of them. They are really good quality, but they're really intended for the um, stamp storage, which I'll show you later. But I like having these in here so that they can kind of stay together. It has a little flap here at the top so that you can close it. So hopefully you can see that flap here. And so you can open and close that. And so that's where I store the actual stamping blocks. So I keep them in here. I'm gonna just fold this down and then they stay right here in this pocket on the left hand side. Next thing I've got in here is my ink. Now I do have three other ink pads, but this is my go-to for now. I haven't opened this yet. I did recently purchase this um, and I want to do more color stamping in my planner. And so I thought that this would be perfect. They do have several of these. So of course I'll link everything below just in case you're interested in this stuff. So we've got the color box, um, petal point, pigmented ink, and then we've got the VersaFine black ink. I want to get more of this ink. This stuff is amazing and it flips down so that way you can have it like that for easy stamping and so this again is a pen pouch but I hold my stamp supplies in here and it works out really well so I'm gonna keep that out so I can flip to the next side so the next spot is where I hold my actual stamps this is just a baby stamp collection because these ladies on YouTube and Instagram their stuff is insane and they've got it all organized so this is my little baby collection for now until I grow out of this pouch which I'm sure I will so let me show you what I've got here so I've got some Happy Planner stamps. This is the um, bills and the budget and um, all of the uh, money management type of stamps. So I've got that. And then I've got the chore list and the dinner and errands and stuff. I can't remember the exact name of this, but it's like the mommy one um, where it's like, you know, laundry, dentist appointment, you know, stuff like that. So we've got that one. These are all Happy Planner stamps. This one as well. This is the fitness Happy Planner stamp. And so with the pouches, just to kind of show you, I keep them, I keep this flap tucked in. But when I untuck it, I can pull the stamp out and I keep these the, the uh, plastic front and back on it. So that way everything is enclosed in here. But I love having it in this extra storage pouch as well. So that way everything stays separate and I can just kind of pull what I need. And eventually I want to have a catalog system. There's a girl on YouTube that I follow and I can't quite remember her name. And um, she stores all of hers in this pouch thing and she labels all of them. She's her craft room is just insane. I can't even think of her name, but I'm sure that I'll think of it. And if I I do I'll put it in the link below because I would love for you to check out her channel it's, it's it's amazing how people organize all their stuff and I feel like just you know so out of my league when I look at other people's channels and I see how they have all their stuff organized and I just feel like I'm so disorganized sometimes so I really want to get on the ball with that and really kind of tweak this craft room up and just organize a little bit better since you know my interests have changed since I initially created this room so that's my my future goal and so this is um, the weekend plans this is the happy planner as well so it's just got a lot of um, some smiley faces some list box borders get it done family work so that's the next one and then this is from the be happy box i love this one this is super cute and so it's got like brain dump uh, be happy live creatively um, some little pattern boxes and things like that and so that is that and they are all some of them are different sizes these are the smaller size and then this was a little bigger so it didn't quite fit in here but it's okay because um i still like to have it enclosed in that pouch and the same with this one this one is really doesn't fit in it at all um, it's like 
I mean, it fits the majority of the way, but it cuts off like right here. So this is for the memory planner, which I have not used yet, but I'm looking forward to starting in my memory planner real soon. And then I've got this one, which I love meal planning. So this is the meal planning stamp. These again are all happy planner. And this one is the same case. It doesn't quite fit in there. It stops like right here. And so, which is fine because I still like having it in there. And then this is just the dates and months from happy planner. And then this is a random one that I purchased on Etsy some time ago. And um, this fits perfectly in this wrapping. And then these are from Lawn Fawn. These are the ones I just recently purchased. These are super cute. Y'all gotta see these icons. They're just so cute. This one is the, what is this, like home management. Yeah, this one's like the home management. So hopefully you guys can see the icons on this thing. So, so cute. Yeah. I love this. I haven't used I haven't used it yet, but I'm looking forward to using it. And then I've got this other one, which is the cleaning. And so these icons are just so cute. So as you can see, they've got some cleaning icons, and then at the top they've got some wording. And again, this is from Lawn Fawn. And so I saw some more that I wanted, so I'm probably gonna go back on Amazon to pick up some more. But I know Lawn Fawn also has their own website, which I'll probably get into the more I start to get into stamping. And so that is my stamp collection. I'm so excited about getting started with something new. So I just can't wait to start stamping more and learning more about the whole stamp process because I just feel like since I'm so new to it, I, there's still so much to learn. I've been on YouTube binge watching videos and I've been learning a lot. So that's how I keep my stamps stored as well as my ink. And then I just store it all in there, pull that over and then I put the ink in here. Sometimes I've got to kind of finagle it around to make sure it fits. Yeah, cause that's not gonna fit like I want it to fit. So sometimes I have to like move these over a little bit just so it can fit properly and close properly. And then I zip it up and then I store it on my shelf. So that is it guys. And so again, these are the uh, envelopes that I use. They say large stamp and die cut storage. They're five and a half by seven and three eighths pockets, a 50 pack. Um, these are really, really cheap. And so they're really good quality. Um, it's hard to translate on camera, but they really are a good, good quality. I know that me storing those um, stamp blocks wasn't a good representation of that, but they are, trust me, they are. And, they, and there's a 50 pack, so you've got plenty in there just in case any of them get, get damaged. So I love these, amazing. All right, so that is it for my pen storage. Again, this is all of my pen storage right here, three pouches, and then this is my ink storage. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and you got some inspiration out of it and you found maybe a couple of things that you wanna use in your planning and you will consider subscribing to my channel and also liking this video. So thanks guys again for joining me on this Sunday afternoon when you can be doing anything else but you are here on my channel enjoying one of my videos. So I really appreciate all of your support. We did hit 15K on YouTube, so go us. This is a family unit here, so hopefully you guys feel like that with my content and you will continue to enjoy it. So thanks again for stopping by and I hope to catch you on the next one. Thank you.